What's going on people? This is Faz Hijazi and we're going to be talking about a small project I made which is private GitHub Copilot or self-hosted GitHub Copilot or just an open source alternative. We know GitHub Copilot, it is a code completion plugin for VS Code and other IDEs and it works by taking your code, sending it to the cloud, and there's an AI model which will do a prediction and it will respond to you with these predictions. Now this could be very sensitive because of privacy, especially for governments and enterprise. The main benefit of having something self-hosted would be privacy and it works without internet and it's free, but I think the main benefit is really just privacy. Now, this repository is just a guide on how to install stuff uh, needed. So you will set up your own backend. And for the front end, something very interesting is that the Copilot extension actually has some options that allow you to redirect. So let's go ahead and give it a try, import, and then we should be seeing the servers doing their work. And there we go, uh, completion. And I don't know, we could do something like dev hello we could do hello world or something like that but uh sure hello world hello world um the quality of the output will depend on the model you're using i'm using a smaller faster model which means it'll be less accurate but the idea the nice thing is i'm trying to minimize writing code i want to reuse as many components as possible so you're not going to have to download any extensions other than the official github copilot and if you go into the settings and you add these lines, this will actually redirect the traffic. Instead of using the official GitHub Copilot cloud, it's gonna be sending it to the local host, and then we can ha have our own backend running. So this guide shows you how to set up all that, but I'm just gonna talk about how I did it and why I chose it. So we're gonna use the Uba Booga text generation web UI. This is how it looks like. This is the repository for it. It is the most popular UI and server for running language LLMs or language models. It supports pretty much every single model on Hugging Face. And you can, not only does it have a UI, but you can use it as a backend or API. So it has a very similar API, but not perfectly identical. And that's why the Copilot extension will not work directly with it. I had to write a tiny piece of code, like 90 lines of code, which is the middleware. And that's the only thing you're gonna have to run. The only actually important Python file is the middleware. And we can see it just redirects traffic. It's just 90 lines of code, redirects from GitHub Copilot to Uba Booga, um, like which is the backend. There are many other projects, but most of them, they re-implement their own servers. They re-implement their own front ends, their own back ends. I try to keep this as minimalistic as possible so it'll be easy to implement, um, it's easy to maintain, sorry. Okay, let's go back here. And here is my middleware, here is my backend server which is running lang language model. And as we see, for example, if I go to completions and it starts generating, so here we go, it's generating and, and this is the result, not the best, I'll be honest. Um, but I'm using a, a tiny model. We can, we can use a better model. But the, the integration is the value of this repository. We can go ahead and, and put a bigger, a big fat model. Um, yeah, so all you have to do here is just configure Copilot and download Uba Booga, which is on the Uba page. I have all the instructions. Please do let me know. I even have a, a bunch of models. Let me know if anything is unclear. I hope this is helpful to someone out there. And yeah, I hope you enjoy.